Hi, Corda. Um, Falcha go uh, Iha Uskalta Firu uh, Klosha Nakurba. Hello, everyone. You're very welcome to Klosha Nakurba's uh, open night here. Um, Rinamar Show Nurig, we did this last year. Uh, I thought we wouldn't be doing this again like this. Unfortunately, we have to do it this way. But we just hope that over the next uh, 40 to 45 minutes, that we will be able to give you, I suppose, a taste of what life in Klosha Nakurba is like and that it, it might. Uh, we might make you make that decision uh, uh, or make that decision a bit easier. Can chat and show go in the curb. So to fortune, uh, Rod Glear and show uh, and Gormaha got us up to Erlina. Thank you for being online with us um, tonight. Now, if I could just ask, uh, I have a chat function on the right hand side. Uh, uh, if somebody could just maybe put a thumbs up and we'd know that uh, the sound is working clearly. Go on phone, Gormaha has got and ship me someone that aimed an engine just to know. And chat function usage agus kin to Google question should me. Rebahasin he Rebahasin gakud. So to group a kyol again, it has no again couple no made on show. Agus fragment inish. Okay. Shin okay. Um. So to me, just a fun of the niche, the Kinto Gulen Foom, I guess, got recurred. I knocked tonight, I'm acting as director, uh, entertainer, cameraman, <laughs> everything in one. So if you see me looking at three or four different cameras or, or screens, uh, I'm just trying to make sure that everything is working okay. So I think to me, Bugna Greg, so Gaw Second Nish, I guess, Beg Pisa, Kyol, Aguin. So just finally, Gaw Second, I guess, Beg and Pisa, Kyol, Aguin. I 
as the corda uh come in week as a goal a clanny worku chain uh fion imlina do dylan imlin a tree cormac imlina kuig as the evening mean she as the shin tashid galer on clan cane so cutter and show on clan cane so we don't wait to um uh grow uh clanny worku Sauce to law father scholar after a long day at school, the Omurku Umur clan family uh, were happy to stay on and play some music for us tonight. Um, so uh, I'll just get started now uh, into our presentation here. So uh, two seconds now, I'll get myself set up. Okay, Ian took. So, uh, our, our plan uh, for tonight is we had our music there with Clanny Warku. Uh, I'd like to just welcome everybody in tonight and I'll, I'll do a few slides at the start. And then we'll, Katrina here uh, will talk some more about new students coming in, followed by uh, Owen de Blockham and Preview de Taunstuck, the Deputy Principal. And then we'll have Michal Amarkagon, who's a year head also, uh, who will be a year head for the incoming students next September. Uh, he will discuss, uh, I suppose, his role with these students and extracurricular activities. We'll have some music again, and then uh, I'll do a short, um, a few words at the end, and uh, and hopefully we'll wrap up at that point there. So we're talking about 45 minutes overall, and uh, I'm hoping that we can put some uh, that the chat function is, is working on the right hand side. If there's any difficulty with that, we will have an email address at the end where we can, uh, you can send questions and we can get back to you and answer any questions that you might have. Okay, good morning, Margo. So, my lume own as I'm dumb, own a calic, privet and a scholar. To me, more privet and show I've been. I'm principal here in school for the for the last year. Uh, I would have been brought up in Ennis, County Clare. Uh, you might say the strongest squill tucked in the world. Uh, and I suppose uh, I grew up a kind guilga and speaking English as well in the same household, and it seemed to work very, very well for me. A fresh and an in a couple of nook to own the block on a previous time stuck, make sure Larry began Tamley, to Katrina Dunica, Kenner Blina, yearhead in the school and with responsibility for incoming first years. And then we have Michal Markagon in the middle, uh, who will be talking to his uh, yearhead and will be the yearhead for next year's incoming first years. And uh, we have Patricia. Uh, at the very end, who is our career guidance teacher, and Patricia will be talking to us uh, in the next few minutes as well. So I suppose just closing the curb, um, where did we come from? It was founded in 1992 with small numbers at the beginning, but it has grown. And since we've moved to the new school here in 2015, well, in Nish, we have 110 students in first year. So that's four first year classes coming in. So we're under the patronage of the GRETB. Um, and as you can see on the right hand side there, the GRETB uh, is a co educational, multi denominational Gwail Cloister. Uh, 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 and in the last uh, year, we're bringing in the GRETB and the ETBI values. As you can see them on the right excellence in education, care, equality community and respect. And these will be the values that I will be discussing uh, in this presentation tonight. And Scully Hain, Kloshna Kerba. So our mission obviously is to give education to our, to, to our students. And not just education, but a high standard of education. And I think you'll see from this year's Leaving Cert results, you know that we had some of the best results in the country and we rivaled any school around being fair to ourselves. So tell me the Dana Visionary, we're doing this already. Also, we want to, I suppose, um, dearest Jack are focusing on values. So the values uh, on Gwelga, that they, they have respect for the language itself, that they like the language. On culture, obviously the culture, the dancing, uh, the history, the music that we just heard are very, very important to the school. And then, you know, values, probably the one value and rule I have myself for the whole school is respect. Respect for the teachers, respect for each other, respect for the students and respect for the school. You know, and if we follow them, I'll land a in. I don't think we can meet Fibre. We never have a problem after that. And again, the values of the ETBI come in there. Uh, equality, care. You want to make sure that the students are cared for, you know, and, and as you're choosing a school, you, you, that's one of your, 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 your number one priorities. Will they be cared for? And absolutely they will be. And finally, Mardurt Mehana, 
you know, Sar Wahasan Itkas, so uh, an excellence in education. And Tawana Munturi, we have the teachers of a high quality, uh, and um, we have that already. So, dear, that's kind of our mission statement. That's what our values that we hold very important to us and that we want to instill uh, in the students coming into school and especially the students joining next September uh, with us. So, and this time we can vulgarize as on camera and this occur at Katrina. As Katrina can learn if we a gastro month school moving from the from the primary school into close to the curb. Okay, Grimil Magov as begged me to learn to live a game of family Irish. Hello, it's Misha Katrina Nikonacha, August Mardus Ono Kalianchen, Tamemar Kanra Blina Instant Skull. So, my name is Katrina Nikonacha, and as Owen said, I am a year head in the school, and I'm currently a year head for the second years. So, I will be involved in the transition program that we run from primary school to secondary school. So, as some of you, as, as some of you might know at this stage, myself and Owen visited a lot of the primary schools. Uh, over the last week and we met with the students for the first time. I will visit the primary schools again in May and June and speak to the sixth class teachers and they will give me important information that will help us make the transition from sixth class to first year as smooth as possible for your children. This summer, we, you can see here, we're going to run a summer camp in August as well. And the summer camp will focus mainly on fun, and sports and it will be a great start for the students. It will be for students, for incoming students, so students who have accepted place in the school and it will be a sports and fun camp where they will get a chance to become familiar with the surroundings of the building. They'll get to meet other students who are coming from all the primary schools across the city and before they actually start in the school, they will be familiar with the building and then they will also have met some new friends that will be in their class. We also have a new system that we started this year, these Canary Cordes. It's a Cordes buddy system with the fifth year students and it has been very, very successful. So the fifth year students would have done a bit of training in August of last year and it is our fifth year students that would have coordinated a lot of the induction program on the first few days with the first years. So it would have been the cards, they would have um, brought the first years on tour, tours of the school, they would have given them their lockers, they would have gone through timetables with them and they would have built a friendship with them from the very first day. So four or five cards buddies are linked with every class in first year and those students actually teach a part of a class since they started. So those four or five students have been in the class, helping the students to get organised, speaking to the students about school life and helping us to make that transition programme be as smooth as possible. Also, the first year students, they feel like they have a, a friend in the school that's a bit older. They have a, a big brother, little sister kind of relationship going on with the fifth year students in the school. So once the students are here with us in the school, we have a very successful and a very strong pastoral care system in place where the principal Ono Kali, the Prevets of Tanishsecha owns a blockum, or Corlor Patricia Ilaharta, who you'll hear from in a few minutes again, and also the year heads would meet on a weekly basis to make sure that we provide services for any student that we feel might need a little bit of help, be it academically, socially or in any aspect that we can give them a lift and help them along the way. We would also avail of the psychological support services from NEPS that all schools would avail of. And also we have a system where each class has an Edzeranga. And I'll explain this a little bit later on to you in a couple of slides. We also have a strong student council in the school. And the student council comprises of two students from every single class in the school. And they would meet on a regular basis to discuss issues like, um, you know, rules that have been implemented, the fun things that they'd like to put forward in the school and so forth. And each class feels as though they have a voice on this student council. And I, I spoke to you there a minute ago about these canary cords as well. So 
So just in terms of the school day, our school day starts at quarter to nine in the morning and we changed over this year to one hour classes. So at quarter to nine, the students have two one hour classes and then they will have a 15 minute break after that. Then there's another two one hour classes and they have lunch for 40 minutes and Owens of Lock and we'll talk to you later about the school canteen and the facilities we have for lunchtime. And then they have two classes and we finish at just short of half three. And then on Friday, which is a big bonus, and of course everyone's very happy <laughs> to have a little bit of an earlier finish on a Friday, we finish off at five to two on a Friday, having five classes on a Friday. And also we have a longer break on Friday uh, to make up for not having a full lunch time. So we'd have a 20 minute break on Friday. I'd just like to speak to you as well about the school uniform in the school. Uh, some of you will be familiar with it already. You can see some students lined up here, here uh, maybe last year. So the school jumper is a turquoise jumper with a white polo shirt with the name of the school on it. Then the boys can wear grey trousers and then the girls would wear navy trousers or a navy skirt. And then we would ask the students wear black shoes are black runners, but they need to be completely black. We will also be inter introducing a PE uniform and you can see here on the right hand side, it's a black and green. The green, green and white is the original colours of the school. So it's a black and black and green um, uh, crested half zip top. And uh, also as part of the PE gear, they will be able to wear a navy or black tracksuit and also a navy or black polo shirt. And the school uniform is available through at uh, Lisbon School Wear Centre or through Anthony Rhymes. So just as I said earlier, I'll speak to you a little bit about the first structure, I guess, that's in place when the students come to the school. So every class is assigned an Edza Ranga, a class tutor, and the class tutor would teach SPHE, the social, personal and health education to that class. And in that hour slot, the teacher would check their diaries, monitor how the homework is going for them, help them to get organised, help them to organise their lockers and so forth. And that teacher is the first point of contact with the students. They would take notes from them if they were to be leaving early or coming in late and so forth. But they're the first teacher. They kind of work as what the students would have been used to, one teacher dealing with them, and this Edzaranga would, would hold that position. And then the Canarablina would work with the four Edzaranga just to help uh, run the year. So um, the Canarablina would help with the induction programme, with the code of conduct, would keep an eye on attendance and punctuality, and would be the main point of contact for students and parents. That, I think that's I think that's the information that I have uh, to give to you. Um, but we're very happy to be here presenting to you tonight. Unfortunately, you're not in, in the school here with us, but we hope to see as many of you starting with us in September and to make that transition from primary school to secondary school as smooth as possible for you. Katrina, thanks Katrina very much for that information. Um, I'm now going to uh, pass you over to uh, Patricia, who's our GARM tour, our career guidance teacher, and uh, I should just say a few words. In, uh, two seconds now. Hi, <coughs> Patricia. Hi. Uh, good evening, everybody, parents, guardians, and any students or prospective students that may be looking in this evening. So, as the principal was saying, and Katrina was saying there, I'm the career guidance counsellor and I'm also the school counsellor. So a lot of my work would be with senior cycles, fourth year, fifth year, leaving certs all around subject choice and college courses and preparing them for the world of work and the world of education. In terms of other students, first, second and third years, I'm available as a counsellor for any help or support that they may need. And very often when they come in from a small, maybe uh, primary school into a big school, they have new teachers, new classrooms, new environment, and they can get very overwhelmed or anxious about this. So we're there and I'm there to help and support them in that role because um, some love it, some just can't wait to get out of primary school and they love the whole idea of moving from class to class to class. Others can find that a little bit challenging. 
So there's help and support right across the board from the Reds around with their Canada being their principal, vice principal, and I'm there as well. They're introduced to me at the first day or two that they come to the school because they come in before the other students come in. So they're shown where my office is and there I say a quick hello to them. So it's always a lovely, lovely time in the school to meet all the new students. Also, parents, you know, I, there's my email is there. If you have any concerns at all, you know, please contact me anytime by with that email address. I would also just urge you if your son or daughter is does have any learning difficulties in primary school, it's very, very important that we're made aware of that. And if they have been in touch or if you would have met an educational psychologist while your son or daughter was in primary school, it's very important that the school has this information so that we can continue with the supports in the school. It becomes particularly relevant once they get into junior cert and into leaving cert because there are extra supports and exam supports that they get. So, um, just to let us know if there's any any additional supports there that they have been getting and that, that we can support them on. So I don't think there's anything else really that I have to say this evening, it's just um, not to keep you too long, but uh, my email is there, so please feel free to contact me at any stage. Thank you. Gurmila Margaret, Patricia, Asot, and Tola Shane, Agus Kinta, Tadrifos, and Shane. So it's been a day, Dagwello. Your email is there so they can contact you if needs be. So thank you very much, Patricia. Um, now I'm going to uh, pass you over to uh, Owen de Blockham here, uh, who is on last previda, the deputy principal in the school. Okay, Gurmila Margaret. Uh, uh, my name is Owen Blacken, the Deputy Principal here in the school. Um, I'm just going to go through some facilities which are here in the school and um, outline my role in the school and um, my background here in the school. So um, I've been teaching here for the last 15 years. I um, was teaching over in the old school in the Tomb Road. Um, my subjects are woodwork, uh, technical drawing, technology and construction studies. Um, I would have started woodwork in the school back, like I said, in the on site in the Tomb Road. And we used to have a woodwork room, five minutes walk out the Tomb Road from uh, from the old school uh, in a, in a small room, no natural light, a far cry from the great facilities that we have here in the school now. Um, so um, I am from the Iron Islands originally. It's kind of duhsach gaelgeme and. Like Owen said, um, he's one year in the job. I'm also one year here as deputy principal. This is my second year. Um, I have a keen interest in sports, in particular the GA, and uh, I've trained a lot of teams here in the school over the years. And um, we've had some uh, great teams go through the school in all disciplines and all sports in the school. And um, not to mention the all winning in all Ireland in basketball there a couple of years ago. And um, what is important to me here in the school and um, the main thing to me uh, is important to me is that your son or daughter is very happy in the school. That's number one. And um, I put a big emphasis on respect among students here in the school as well. So um, you, you didn't come here to hear, listen about me, so um, I'm going to move on and show you a small bit about our facilities here in the school. So um, if I move move slide there. Uh, just just on the page that we have open there at the moment uh, on the top left hand side there uh, there's a good study area in the school um, on the bottom right a, te a technology the technology room um, in the front uh, the, the top right there is, is kind of outside view of the canteen and we have a courtyard area there um, which is going to change in the next couple of weeks when we uh, drop in a new sculpture that the school has got and um, it's a part of the percent for art project is 50,000 um, project which it'll be a, a scan and um, scan the farriga which will see mirror so it'll be an interesting piece that you'll see um, in the courtyard area there's also a common area on the bottom bottom left there another common area for students um, at break time um, just show you a few more pictures then inside um, there's a, a kind of a timeout room there in the top left where students um, can take a break from uh, the stresses of um, the day. 
um, from time to time. In the middle, then you see the inside view of the canteen. So um, that's that's the canteen there on the top right, uh, part of the home economics, the kitchen in the home economics room. And the bottom then is one of our computer labs. So um, just go through all those facilities there. They're all um, listed there. We also have um, four uh, science labs, a science demonstration room, and like I said, the computer rooms, woodwork rooms. Ex we're um, excellent uh, technology and woodwork facilities. Two woodwork rooms, a technology room, and Schumer GDC, uh, which is um, a design and communications graphics room. Uh, a graphics room, art room, Christian, Shumra Jaragoni, um, with an excellent uh, sports hall, um, full, uh, which a lot of our uh, local clubs are using for basketball training at the moment, um, and which is used always uh, every day, um, and a gym upstairs also. Uh, unfortunately, out of commission with COVID at the moment, but we're hoping things will change on that front in the next couple of weeks. So um, I will just be passing you on. Um, sorry, the the canteen. Then also just a little bit about the food in the canteen. Um, so a BHR fall got law, so we've um, fresh food available every day, and try to limit fizzy drinks. And we we don't have them at all. And and sweets and chocolate. Um, so that's what's available in the canteen. So um, I will be passing you on now to um, the uh, your year head for the incoming first year students, which is Michal Omarkhan. Khan. Um, so thank you very much. Like Katrina said there in the previous uh, speech there, we are really looking forward to seeing you all coming into the school next year. Thank you. Good morning, Margaret. Own, I thought, and told you, own. Thanks very much for information. Uh, just as Michal is getting ready here, um, just to, to go back on what Owen was saying about the facilities, I think it was clear from what you saw from Owen there that the, the rooms that we have and the specialised rooms, that means we can we can offer every subject going. So for Leaving Cert last year, we offered 16 different subjects, you know, some with class sizes as small as four per class. But it, it's my belief, you know, that we make sure we do our best that students get their first and second and third preferences. Um, for their leaving cert, especially, you know, so that if, if they get what they like, they'll study it. You know, that's the, the, the way I think it works. If you like what you're doing, you don't really have a problem. You dean of unstudy or you dean of an upper body. So I think the facilities show that we have the ability, you know, the potential to deliver um, the subjects as well. Okay, so Anish, Tomikun, who heard go Michal and Shaw and Canarblina Becky Nadalti, he will be the yearhead for the incoming students in next September. Okay, good morning, Margaret. Uh, my name is uh, Michal Omarkhan. I'm the, um, the year head for the incoming first year. So I'm a teacher of uh, an ISIC question, I teach physics in the uh, school. August, uh, it's nice to be here to get a chance to, uh, to address the, um, the parents of our future students. Um, so Erdusbor, I think um, Katrina did a, a great job of explaining basically what the, the Canner Blina does. So I'm not going to say a huge amount about that other than to say, um, you know, my role, my Canner Blina, I kind of see my role as, as it's written there, to build positive relationships and positive, uh, promote positive behaviour within the year group. So careful guest, you know, to give you want to give support and help because taking Wijna, we understand it's so difficult to go from primary school into secondary for many students. Many students, it's, it's fine, but it can be very difficult. And as the school gets bigger now, because we are a very big school, I remember when I began the school, teaching the school, we had, you know, maybe 10, 10 students in Leaving Cert. So it's a very different dynamic. You knew, know each student very, very well, you know them personally. Whereas now as a big school, we, we've introduced all these supports to make it easier for those students coming into a large school. So the, the Edgeranga and the Canarblina. So, you know, what I'd like to say uh, to, to you this evening is that uh, if there are any difficulties, any issues, you know, feel free to to approach me directly. You know, there's my email address is up there or get the students to come in, have a chat with us or talk to the core lawyers, Patricia mentioned. And I know the previous and the last previous 
are always more than happy to um, to try and help students that, that find it difficult. And, you know, we're very used to it. Don't feel that, you know, this is if your student finds it difficult, if your son or daughter finds it difficult in first year, don't feel that they're, you know, that, that, that that's unusual because it's not. So please just let us know as soon as possible and we'll do our best to make things easier on them because we have, you know, we've experienced dealing with this for, for years and years. And Shach um, I just want to talk a bit about the extracurricular sports uh, or extracurricular um, activities available in the school. And Mara Luame, we've always had, you know, fantastic academic results in the school. Uh, and, and now what we're working on the last years is, you know, kind of supporting the individual student, as I mentioned, with all those additional supports of the year ahead and the, uh, the edge of wrong, the, the class tutor and the corridor have all these people available but also to increase the number of extracurricular sports. When we were very small, you know, we couldn't field a football team, but that's all changed, especially since we've got here to our um, our brand new facility. So I'll just bugger Ryan and show to engage Sean and Anna. And you can see here our brand new pitch at the back, absolutely amazing, great facility. We've just got new changing rooms this year. And uh, our gym, which will be back in commission as soon as possible, we hope, which looks down into the sports hall again, which is, uh, a huge sports hall. So we really have, and this is all brand new the last five years, so we have an amazing range of, uh, of facilities available within the school. Um, now, Kelly in the sports at Horse Hall, uh, we have a huge range of sports here. You know, we have Omanch, Camogio, depending on how, on, on the interest, what they, they we gauge the interest of the students, and we can feel, we're feeling more and more um, teams every year. Uh, soccer, Kishfeld, basketball, Pell, football, Raw uh, sport that not many schools would have uh, is uncommon raw and I'm heavily involved with that and I'll, I'll speak about that in a moment as well. And just in the last couple of years, we've introduced rugby freshmen. So we, um, you know, we really do provide a huge range of sports. And I know when we have individuals from other sports, you know, they can uh, compete with a team as well, for example, swimming and, and, and all the other sports. So um, if there is interest from students, we will certainly look into uh, providing other sports because we like to to provide a wide range to to as many people as possible, uh, and on that note, I suppose uh, Mar and Vinita kind of began there and Gumman Raviyak as person uh, who's involved in the rowing club. That's a sport that might appeal to people. I know when I was in school myself, I wasn't very good at, at football or anything that involved a ball with uh, two left feet. Uh, but then when I took up rowing, it was completely different, and I really enjoyed it and loved it, and and became very into sports. So it's very important that when your your student comes into first year, that they try out different things and we'd be encouraging to do that. And uh, one of the things we have available here, as I mentioned, is uh, the rowing club, which involves training on the weekends down on the, on the River Corrib and then after school a couple of days a week. And then we have, you know, events all over the country and every couple of years we try and go on a, a training camp abroad, which is always a highlight of the year. Um, so, in Bugarai Oshin, Kid in the Eschkricker Ella Thorfall, the other extracurricular sports or sorry, extracurricular activities that we'd have available, of course, would be Kjol, um, you know, the competitions, Schleip, um, traditional music, contemporary music, uh, Schiemsjöft and Kormorte um, We have a very strong music department here and teachers who are, you know, give up their time willingly to, to help out students who are interested in Kjol and to, you know, organise groups. So it's really fantastic um, uh, to see and to hear the Kjol, you know, when they <laughs> things we've done the last couple of years is to put pianos around the school and it's great to come down at Am Sus and Am Lone and hear beautiful music being, being played by our students which is uh, really uh, great to see. Our Noi Thunarch Thurs Scullia Ann, we have uh, school tours and we have you know tours for Star and for Tirolis and for Physic, we, we've organised a physical in the next couple of weeks to go to Burrcastle. So you know we understand that it's very important that not only do we achieve excellent academic results but we try to develop uh, the students, you know, as rounded individuals, and that's why we, we put such an emphasis on the uh, the rest curricula. Uh, so, I know we've had G-Sport, the debates, Corlin and Machlein, the student council, and we participate in all the, the various weeks as well, the Shachtan Mjauer Poncha, the Mental Health Week, the um, Shachtan the Mata, Shachtan uh, the, there's another one, Gwege, Darnoy, <laughs> kind of on top of the Dunia. Uh, and then we have the Shuntirach, the entrepreneur weaves. You know, I'm not going to list them all, but we have a huge range of, uh, of extracurricular uh, activities available, and we, we really try to promote that and, and get the students involved. And now we talk Kjol and Stormyacht and Skoff, Fresh and Skull. Uh, we have uh, just amazing musicians and Dromyacht. We try and put on a Kjol drama. Obviously, with COVID, that's been very difficult, but we're hoping 
Louis Grafage then on the solution of each. August Chocolate Draw Jeremy Piece of Hanchinish and Shin, you know, we try to promote charity work, very important, of course. Uh, you know, various teachers and the students themselves organise fundraising for different uh, activities and charities, which uh, is very important. So, social responsibility, to try and instill that in the students' uh, freshman. So, Mila Buichas as Ishtar Thlum, Agus Fogh Mishad Nish, Chuyg a Priv Jerry. Mila Maga, Mihal, Asak Tan Tolishin, and as I said, Mihal will be the uh, yearhead for uh, students starting next year, and he will continue then as yearhead from first year to second year, third year, and that's really important. So, currently, Atna in adulting, he gets to know the students, uh, he gets to know the families, he, he gets to know you, you know, and I think that's helped for, for a parent as well. Uh, between first, second, and third year. So, I heard that Tommy Ann Buick, Dave Gwilchev, and Shaw Foss, I'm delighted that you're still with us at this point. Um, we're coming to the stage now where we're going to have our last piece of music, and we have Simon here, Dalton uh, Scullis, and Carol Glein, Tashikun, Kyoli Kang, doing Peace of Yog, and then I'm going to sum it up at the end with a few words, uh, and we'll finish up at that stage then. Okay? Yeah, okay, so, Tommy Chaktanish, that's Simon, so, Gosekanish, August Ben Midrake. Simon and Shane, and I think by uh, being in too long, you will agree with me. Uh, that was a, a fabulous piece of music. Excellent, Mahagiri Simon. Well done, super, absolutely brilliant. So, uh, Igbo uh and we're down to our last ten minutes. I said we'd be finished in 40, 45 minutes. We're small, but running over that, I say pretend we're finished. But then uh, I'll ten minutes, uh, and we'll be finished. Okay. So, I suppose, Dumsa uh, Mar. Free vida. So came for will to come to foster her quick and skull in the show. Okay. Um, and you know, Anguilga, obviously, some parents out there would uh, be concerned about Anguilga. Okay. The first thing I'd say is, uh, you know, students who learn more than one language, uh, research has proven that they find easier to learn extra languages. So the French and the Spanish uh, tends to come easier to them. Secondly, you know, Dalti Tidane of screwed at Trigwelga to bonus marks. There's bonus marks going for students who do their exams through hours. So that's very important. You know, that, that, that extra few percentage that might get to move the line. It might push you from a B up to an A or from a C up to a B. 
So these are really important things. But like, what are we doing, I suppose, to help with students coming into first year? You know, so we have additional classes in first year. So while there's a, a minimum requirement of Irish classes, we are well above that. We are, uh, I suppose, in issue two, we're investing in first year in the Irish, just so that they get that, uh, you know, good foundation stone and that they get a good start. We also have a language assistant that works with first year. So we'll identify students who are struggling, give them the extra bit of help in the Gaelga, just to push them along, you know, and that they'll be confident in their own ability. First year, we have fourth year students working with first years and a peer support, peer learning, you know, and that's proven to be very successful. As Katrina mentioned, we're also introducing an Irish summer camp this summer um, for all incoming first years. And with this, you know, if students meet true Irish, you know, the, the context has been set, they've made their friendships true Irish, they tend to continue with that friendship through, through Gwilga. And like that, you know, with everything, you have to speak it regularly. So we we do emphasize that Gahi Nadalti Gwilga, Lart Igoni, Gakla, Ernapasoshti, Snarangana, Gakoch. So the students have to speak it every day. And in turn, well, their Irish improves. You know, so the main thing I would say, I wouldn't be concerned, you know, about the Gwilga as being an obstacle. If anything, it's going to be a buntoshta as you go through the school, through their first year up to sixth year. Okay. Um, Oh, even at Pointy, you know, you're talking about there's two sides to this school. I'm very much for people doing well academically. I think that's really important. And as you can see here, you know, 2021, we had eight students who got 625 points. You know, we had 20% um, of our students achieved more than 600 compared to 5.7% 5, 5 nationally. And more than 42% achieved more than 500 points, which is, again, that's 62% of our leaving certs attained more than 500 points and an average CEO of points then was 504 points last year. So, you know, the, the argument that the Gwilga is holding people back, I think the argument is for the Gwilga. You can see from the results itself that, you know, the students do excel, the students do do very, very well. They achieve Kahanwa and 100% of the students go to third level. Okay, so I hope that gives you a bit of confidence in, you know, taking, taking the risk, taking the jump and going for it. You know that it does work out as you can see in the picture you know they all got what they wanted and they all did very very well you know nice far uh no you know going to shoot better than as you can see nationally so no be bored don't be worried you know we're here to to definitely uh support them academically and let them go in also my aching to you know just some people ask about oh would her barely uh, be any worse if you look at the results last year and it might be hard to see it, but the, the green dotted line uh, is Klaus and the And that's the percentage of students, you know, and the grades, how well they did. The the next line in the middle is other grade Klaus and the third line is the national curve. So in terms of English results, we are well ahead of the national averages, you know, which again, you know, as a grade school and a grade Klaus you know, obviously it's not an issue by looking at those results. Same with the matter, you can see there the curve, the green curve is well ahead of the national average. And then Leshen Whale Gernoig, we're the same as Ulgrail Kloshti, we're both identical on the same curve, but we are well ahead of the national average. So my argument is, you know, the Gwilga is not going to hold you back. The Gwilga venting is a benefit, and as you can see from the results and from those graphs above, they do excel in the core subjects as well. Okay, so the so skull show. Uh, to um, task the social work, I need to lean as an artist merit. Okay, so we've got the June cert transition year, uh, which is uh, uh, compulsory, and then we have our leaving cert, which is a two year course. So six years altogether in the school. And in first year, which is this is a page you're probably all looking to see more than anything, we have the uh, over school, the exam subjects. These are the subjects that all first years must do the Gaelic, the Bear, the Math, the Oli of the Star, the Frankish or Spanish. Okay, so as I say there, sometimes we have demand for the French, sometimes we have more demand for the Spanish, and we have X amount of teachers in both subjects. So sometimes we are left with a lottery if there's too much demand for one subject or the other, and business. So then in got that in the Shea Aubergine on the June cert. Then in the second column, Blash and Sheet in the Harvard they, they do tasters in these subjects. The geography, art, woodwork, the technology, home ec, technical drawing and home economics. 
So the current first years have just finished their tasters in those subjects, and now they're choosing their preference, one, two, three, and we do our best to give them their first two preferences so that they, they will continue those subjects from now until the end of third year. And then TY, transition year, they get to taste every subject again, and they make a choice again for them to leave in third Also, we have other additional subjects, uh, non-exam subjects, which are very important, um, such as the SPG, CSPE, PE, uh, we brought in Pilates this year for first year, mental health, uh, values, and this is something I'll talk about in a second, you know, the idea that values are very important, more important than rules. You know, my idea of a school is that we don't run it by rules, but we run it by values. You know, that we instill values in the students and that if something if somebody does something wrong, well, good dig and cheat, good rich and low, that they broke the value, not the rule. You know, and that's what we're trying to do here. And then public speaking as well. So we're trying to bring in a lot of non-exam subjects, you know, that are, are part of the course, but they're not part of an exam. And I think that's important because it's not all about results. I might have highlighted them. Yes, that's one half of it. But I think it's very important that there's uh, the other side of it as well. To go ahead more, there's two sides to it. And we want to make sure that we develop the students equally outside of the classroom. So in the end, you end up doing nine subjects, six compulsory, two that they, the options there. And then they do two short courses, which is PE and SP, SPHE as well. So the class of 2022-2023, you know, what, am I, what do I want for them? You know, number one, I want to develop these students, as I said, uh, develop them within the classroom academically, but equally outside that classroom, you know, that uh, teaching and learning is at the highest standard. And I think we have that very much so in this school. That is a school community and it's something we're working on, you know, and that's the parents, you know, the, the guardians, uh, the GA clubs, that the students here and the school feels connected to the people around it. And that's what we want. We want the school, the school to be a great cluster, but to be the center of the community for the students as well. The staff, you know, uh, uh, staff are critical to any success in any school. And thankfully, Ta Muntred and Skogun, we have brilliant teachers who do uh, devote their time within the classroom and outside the classroom playing sports or other, uh, other activities. Um, uh, like dramas and music uh, uh, and other things. And then I suppose what we want to do is make sure we have a school atmosphere, you know, that it's a, it's a positive place. And that's really important, you know, because we want to make sure when a student comes in here that they go, this place is OK. You know, I'm not saying school is the, is the most exciting place in the world for everyone, you know, but we want them to feel that this place is generally, this is a good place, you know. And most importantly, it's very simple, but Dalti Sosta, a good dog and cheese jack, a good cheese sauce. Okay, that they commit to school and that they're happy, you know, that their school day is a good thing and that they go home happy most of the time. Yes, they have tests. Yes, they have assessments. I understand that. Yes, they have pressures and different things, but it has to be part of our goal to make them feel happy. And if the student is happy, well, then, you know, the learning is secondary and that will happen automatically, you know. So, uh, more on Ella Araw, the class of 2029. So this is your son and daughter who will be coming in next year. We'll be talking again you know, at a graduation in, uh, in 2029. Um, and I suppose, you know, you know, when those students look back, you know, what are they going to say about the school? And you know, I'd love them to say that, you know, they felt cared for, you know, that they felt respected and they were recognised, you know. So if you're recognised, you're kind of part of the school, you feel you have a connection to that school. So if I can manage, you know, in 2029 to ask these students this question and that you can do the same and they can say, Quorum, mass, because the and is took them. I think that would be, you know, we've done well if we can do that. Because I know that learning will happen and I know we'll develop the students, but I just want to make sure that for you as a parent, that you, the priorities will be good education, but also care, respect, you know, and that they're uh, recognised. I want every student to be recognised for what to do, whether it's in the classroom or outside the classroom, it doesn't matter. So, that's class of 2029, which is a bit scary to be actually thinking that far ahead, but it flies by. So what happens next? I suppose Caver it is, uh, some of you might have uh, enrollment forms filled in online. Tashu on taught is very important. If you have submitted an enrollment form in previous years, for this next year, uh, it doesn't matter if it's five, 10 or 15 years ago, you must fill out a new enrollment form at the moment. Um, 
These enrollment forms are now online. So if you just go to the website, enrollment, Chloro, Fecky to and Shin, you'll see the in a box halfway down the page, the enrollment form and Shin, and just Linus Jockey. Uh, you have until the Octo Law the Mina Sauna, and then we'll uh, by the 25th of Mina Sauna, November, we will back, be back to you with uh, uh, an acceptance uh, letter, and then you have two weeks then to come back uh, with part of that acceptance letter, just confirming that you're happy to take the place in Clausen in the Curva. We have a uh, selection criteria. Um, but I'm not going to go through it. To be honest, um, I'm quite happy where we are as a school and where we're growing. You know that uh, last year we took in X amount of students and all those students were offered a place. You know, so uh, at the moment uh, I would not be over overly worried about that, but I would be uh, making sure that you get to form in with on top to law the means of the tissue. On top to will and furnish an institute. It is very important that you get that form in. OK, so um, social media communication is really important for a school. So I'd love if you uh, have a look at our school website, that you get some information from that. We're also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Please follow us, like us, uh, and you'll see all our activities, uh, all the positive things that go on in the school are on our social media, uh, different forms. Um, and then our website that has our policies, uh, important news for parents. Um, and so please have a look at all those things and also to come and roll with you, our rowing club as Michal said there also has a link there as well where you can follow them as well. So just a chat there on Iha and Neil Moore and Ella Rogum, but myself and Katrina have spent a few days going around to primary schools and uh, it was enlightening. Uh, I, I suppose picked up a lot of questions from them and these are some of the questions that came up from the the first years, uh, the potential first years, and I hope to meet them all next September, but these are the kind of questions. Uh, is there a lot of sport in the school? This question came up again and again and again, and as uh, Owen has answered and Michal has answered here, yes, talk galore sport. We have nearly every type of sport going in the school, okay? And people who do horse riding, uh, swimming, and other sports outside of school, yes, we we'll, you know, make sure we're part, they're part of the school as well, and they're recognised for it, and they, that they will, um, they, that they will take part uh, the school, uh, and they'll do competitions for the schools as well in those sports. King size BA was a very important question from the students. As you said, we've hot and cold, healthy food in the canteen, and but also you can bring in your own lunch as well. On vine to Tashkelon, do you get a locker? This was a big question uh, from the uh, uh, sixth class students. So we said, yes, you, you will get a locker. And as you see further down, Kane, da, what colour will it be? It was really important. So we told them different colours. Some were disappointed that there wasn't Kirkrad, that there wasn't uh, a few colours, uh, other colours as well. And we'll for in soccer, some people had high standards, want to make sure the team that they're going to join would be good. Um Tamil Creek in school, very important. So we told them you finish at five to two on a Friday and they were very happy to hear that. Uh, do you get a layer skull, a map when you're coming into school? And you do. Uh, and we said, it's okay, you do get lost here in the first few weeks, that's no problem. And that's why we're here to show you around. I'm here a year myself and I found a new room in the last week. So, you know, it's okay to be lost and it's okay to find places as well. And uh, we'll help each other along in the first few weeks. And can you bring your phone poke in, your, your mobile into the school? Um, we recommend no phones, the rule of the school that they would have no phones on them. Uh, the office where um, Janice and Marion are in the office, they have a phone there that all students uh, uh, can walk in and use their phone to ring home and there's no problem with that. And likewise for parents, we recommend that they all ring the office and then we get in contact with the student, but that they, we don't use the phones uh, and that they don't bring them into school. So, Shin quid in the uh, or uh, Nadalti uh, as we went around to the schools in the last, uh, last few days. And uh, it was a great experience. It was great to meet students. Uh, and we hope that we get to see uh, many of them uh, next September. So uh, at this point, Mata Keshtina Gwiv, what we're recommending is there's a website there, oldest.clotinacurva at gratb.e. Please, if you have any questions relating to what you've seen tonight uh, or any questions relating to enrollment or next year, uh, just show brief us quick on, 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 on Shoreshin. Send an email to that address there uh, and just highlight query enrollment 2023 or something like that, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so uh, I'm no doubt there's plenty of questions 
And uh, so please email us at that address there. I'm leaving it up for a few seconds just to make sure. Chance of good to Fiona Olags is Shkriv. She is Olas da Kloshna Kurva at UDTB.ie. So, Shinu Will Um, I suppose I hope between myself, Katrina, uh, Michal, uh, Owen, uh, our musicians that you've enjoyed the last uh, 55 minutes as it happens, uh, that, uh, that I hope it's helped you make your decision um, and I hope it's made that decision that little bit easier for you. As a principal of the school, uh, as Owen said, myself and only here one year and I believe we've done quite a lot in that one year and we're not finished. We want the school to be better and we want the life to, of the students to be better also and that involves your input you know, so we will be asking parents what needs to be done, what we can do better. You know, so we value that input from parents. We also ask the students and the staff, you know, as we go along. And let's try and improve the school to better, uh, improve the school as we go along and do things different based on uh, the, the advice and the comments we get from parents uh, over the next couple of years. Um, again, I just highlight, you know, we're here to make sure that the students uh, are cared for. Uh, that they are respected, you know, that they're respected by the teachers, you know, and that uh, that they respect uh, the teachers and the school as well. Um, and that we just hope that you will make that decision to trust us to do that, you know, and that's what we will do. We will do our best. And that's all we can do. Din Mir Nihil, our son Vor, Fosti, Mahagan Sheet, and Shah, and Blinch Krogan. And I know it art, it has fallen short as a high standard of education, and how Anguil Gaon. And I think hope you've seen from what I've shown you, the Gwilg is a buntoshta. Okay, it's not a negative thing, it's actually it'll be a positive, and do not be worried about that. We're here with extra help to make sure that works okay. So listen, Igan Butishan, Grimil Magu, Tasulgum Nor Ogme in the Mach, um uh uh Day Fekame uh four Vordiv, uh Nugaktina would be great. Um uh a machincho, Irihan Tarik when we have our summer camp and we, we get these uh, new students in in early August and hopefully that is part of the transition program that will be brilliant to get them in speaking Irish, see the school and then they, they will kick off in September and have no problems in the school. So Mark Riuk uh, and slide there on the Catalan is a school video we have. It's a few minutes long and you might have seen it on the website um, but I can point to show just Valmara, Grimila Malgov, Asad Eistertlin, Slán Gafol and the school.
Is Misha Krivan. August is Misha A. Vargas, Valti Woods, and Lena Shea. Tonyart Kuni Intra Trish Rans and Skull Intra Show. Domhain Gohoria on Terraskiola S. Caribbean, which is just the Kretze. August Kirsten Kutain Ava. Um, one Misha on Tanamas and Kills Roman and Lena Kahir be on Crack again. August Kane Sai Sports and Willa Yenos and Skull. Um, Ta Soccer, Ta Pell, Ta Omaniach, Ta Kamoviach. At the Sulagum, Gravancho Tatnav, Asantaris, Tupin, the Scholar, Agus, Kinta, Connexiv, Nehoshan, and Scohatogwin, as are known to Munterid and Scohogin, fresh into Scotia, Agus Vectrishins, Naturhi, Intake, Avin, and Shaw, Blean, Ervlin, Ak, Nihishin Gakrut, Erla Vela, Kurmlok, Agus Bame, Er, Er, and Dalta eat Hain, freshen. Agus Ferbert and Dalta Parsent at the Shin Harvatov of the Dumsa. Gumrahan the Dalti Savaltus of Sculpture, Agus Sonna, the Sonnus and Dalti and Havtuk, Kundulkan Keen, a young of the Sculpture. Freshen, Denim Gakirt, Gulnert Ahentis took it in the Dalti. Agus Gumohin Chief Portuk, the Sculpture, Freshen. Agus Aderier Hall, Gumig the Dalti Fane. And wrote it as a skull into a tagwin and show. Then he firm clutch and curb it, a knee hill or some gatin, dalta and green skull show, Gallimishin, deep. Sidera, Bravala Maro, Tasulum, Gravancho, Tatan, Varish, As, and Taurus, Templus Gulla, Axomic Tanu, Gomor, Nabula, Liv, and Vlichkov. Grimia Malgov, Agus Sloan.